I stuck two of the most talented Pokemon trainers in the world in an escape room race where their job was to save my run. I was up to the Elite Four gates with a box of, well, garbage. And no, they weren't working together. Going up against the Black Two Elite Four, the task was of course to make a team and head in with their Pokemon. They had one hour to prepare by teaching moves, gathering resources, and planning strategies. Then, once they'd begun their battle, the goal was simple. Beat the Elite Four. Whoever won first would be crowned the winner. And if they both lose, the winner would be determined by whichever contestant knocked out the most Elite Four Pokemon. Let's talk about their encounters. In the box sat one Pokemon of every type at least. Yeah, I'm looking at these teams, Wacko. There's some uh, real shit in here. Hey! Some hey. real big pieces of shit. Hey, those are the mons that got me to the Elite Four. What the fuck is this? Is is this is garbage? It's beautiful. But Flygon was wrong. There were some really good Pokemon in that box. Machoke was in there, and Cacturn, and even a secret hidden Pokemon to be revealed later, only if they find it. And very quickly, for anyone confused, yes, I am wearing a suit and tie. It's the only appropriate attire for a funeral, and I was ready for my run to rest. I need to see one of these guys bring heat more. That's that's my that's my beloved right there. So. Being completely honest, Heatmore <laughs> heat heat is kind of interesting here. Um, there was there was something I was talking about with um, one of uh, one of my moderators, uh, Grant Stonked. You know Grant. What he pointed out was Heatmore has the ability Flash Fire. Do you know anything about the black and white AI? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I, I love it. It's I love the simplicity of it. It's one of my favorites. I guess there's a bug where if you trigger Flash Fire, then it won't use a fire move until another ability yeah, is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. So... That's what's going on with the, with the heat board here. Yeah. All right, let's check what items we have, because we're not allowed to pick up any more items. Blue shard, red sh Ooh, 10 of each. Okay, and five heart scales. We've got full candies. Presumably, we can't sell the rare candies. We got a bunch of these bad boys. Okay, we've got t thief, and that's it. Sure, we've got cherry chesto. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. This has a heat rock, scald, blizzard, attract rain ants. This love disc looks fucking fire. Um, I think EV training is definitely gonna be a thing. Fake out sucker punch, sunny day, solar beam. Okay, so this has a sunny day set, but like honestly, how good is this even? They're all 58, right? Automatize blizzard, hail, ice shard. All these have something about them that makes them bad, except for the love disc, but I guess the love disc has the fact that it's love disc. I don't know, this looks pretty beatable to me. All right, so I think what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna try and evolve this sucker so that we get uh, Vanillux and then just slap a choice scarf on it and go to town with Ice Beam. The question is, do you learn Ice Beam by Move Tutor? The thing is, Scarf Vanillite doesn't even outspeed the Hydreigon, it just gets one shot by Flamethrower. Um, because that'll kill uh, Hydreigon, it'll kill Drudagon, and it will also potentially kill Archeox. Looks like Lapras will come out after that. But So I like this guy. I like this guy. He's a friend of the pod. Okay, we have a calc with all the sets and everything. Um, I don't have my overlay set up for it, so you guys can get fucked. All right, should we just start with Iris, I think? I think we should just start with Iris, right? I think it's going to be interesting too just thinking about you know their knowledge of where you can get things um you know tms items all that because you know you think about flygon for example he's he's got such extensive knowledge of vanilla games because he's done so many challenges so i wonder if that's going to maybe give him an edge yeah true i they they are banned from picking up ground items i i didn't i didn't have the time to go through and and pick up every single one there's a lot of dowsing machine i didn't realize how many dowsing machine items were in this game it's insane but uh but collecting collecting the the tms that they need from 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 marts from move tutors uh, that's all on the table here and i'm interested to see what they do wonder what they can do with this lagging tail that's on the heat more I'm sure there's some there's some sweet tech there jan's feeling good all right we have to hurry uh we have to get black glasses good thing i remembered that we also need to get ancient power on Yanma. Near the back alley trainers. What does that mean? I, I genuinely don't know. Is that is that through the sewers? Oh no. That's through the sewers, isn't it? When the sewers are flooded in the spring and summer, it requires surf. Fuck! I can't do this. Got this son of a gun, and we got Corsola. But Corsola sucks. Am I really bringing Corsola? 
It's gonna get crushed by all the EQ users. All right, so now we have a good bait rock type move. Do we have a, I mean, bait fighting type move? We don't have a ghost type, unfortunately. We do have Yanma. Wonder how Yanma does with anything. Wait, weak armor gives us speed when hit with super effective move, correct? Just a physical move. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, just Scarf Analux, see how far we can take it. I could probably stall this Lapras out of PP, um, and then kill it with Corsola. Let's go with that. Fuck it. 15 minutes before they were destined to enter the Elite Four, I opted to pull them into the call to check in. Yo. How you doing? You know, um, I, not great, because I forgot <laughs> about the held items. Wow. So now my Cacturon's going to be doing a lot less damage than I thought I'd be doing, but, you know. Hey, it's got, just use growth another time. That won't be a problem, <laughs> right? Maybe not. <laughs> I didn't use any of my uh, items either. Is that what you were saying, Jan? Um, oh, no, I was just, I thought I thought I could get black glasses or expert belt or something, and I forgot that there's no NPC item gifting, so I couldn't get either. Um, I didn't have time was, to add my uh carbos and stuff you yeah. can and add also no air ACM. Yeah, i was yeah, oh, okay yeah, yeah. yeah um what's it called yeah there's no yeah i removed all the npc gifts okay i'm using all of my um uh vitamins then as well yeah um uh, yeah i mean re realistically like there's no time limit on how much time you spend in the elite four so like if you want to do more theory crafting it's not like you have to like zip through this obviously yeah. you guys are racing each other to be more efficient but like yeah. you can play it safe here if you want to um how are we how are we feeling mr hg um eh, yeah i will say <laughs> it's crazy how good dark types are in this e4 yes right yes very potent right i just remember the first time i ever played through this i just remember scrafty ran this entire like it wasn't even yeah broke. scrafty's phenomenal in yeah. this game. Yeah, dude, it, it literally single-handedly takes out Grimsley, uh, Chantal, and Caitlyn. <laughs> like, it's just nuts. Should we do Should we do a quick team comparison? I would. See what we both came up with, because I, I want to know what we're playing on came up with. I'm yeah. down. Let's do it. All right. So I'm running Sandslash, Vanillite, Corsola, Yanma, Machoke, Cacturn. Okay. I'm running uh, Firo, Cacturn, Machoke, Vanillite, Zatu, and Garbodor. Garbodor. Okay. We got a, We got a different. We got. We got. We got a. We got a similar core. Man, I had, I had Sand Slash, and I assumed it could learn Drill Run because it's a fucking Sand Slash, and it cannot. So I had to swap it last minute, and I already burned a Heart Scale on it. But it is what it is. I yeah, I do like that you guys all have Cacturn, um, Vanillite and Machoke. One thing that Moxie and I were talking about is how when you're Nuzlocking, like if you have a run that's scuffed, like sometimes you're playing to win and sometimes you're playing just to get as far as you can. Um, yeah. And it seems like with you guys both having Vanilla on your team that you're both playing to win. Oh yeah. Just because that mod is not going to be useful for a, a couple of Elite Four members. So yep. <laughs> Iris special. I'm rooting the, for the you both. Design with the, the design with the um, NFEs on, on the level cap is really cool. I really like this. This is something that you usually don't get to do in Nuzlocke. Yeah, I I hope I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys win. Um, I, I'm excited. To, to see how you guys do against specifically Marshall. Um, but do you guys know who you're going for first? Yes. Yeah, me too. Okay. All right. Well, I won't hold you guys back anymore. Uh, you guys you guys have unlimited time to go and do your thing. Uh, Moxie and I will be cheering you on. If you need anything, just let us know. Um, but thank you guys for uh, trying to save my Nuzlocke. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. All right. Good luck, Flygon. Good luck. Go get them, boys. Oh, man. Mox. The time now has come. The fun begins. And the Elite Four awaited one hour of preparation for two of the best Nuzlockers in the world to show down in this Nuzlocke escape room. There's one more piece of prep we haven't done yet, guys. I mean, there might not be any black glasses in this game, but like, it's an Elite Four, right? All right, all right. It's gonna be down to the wire here, folks. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to do the throw thing, guys, uh, or like that that at all but i guess we'll just do our best oh they both got glasses on they're both they're both Ooh. shaded up let's go they're both playing a win guys i don't know if i can actually wear these i'm not gonna lie maybe i'm the one trolling maybe i'm the one who's washed here yeah okay i'm washed all right this is easy gg bum, 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 bum. all right growth once i wonder if we get the growth we get the growth we get the growth there it is. what item did he give the cacturn was it a chesto berry <sighs> i didn't see i would assume so I would assume it's Chesto. You do have three Chestos here. Yawn. Fine. 
Growth again. Do you just Dark Pulse at this point? Oh, he's growthing again. I mean, I guess you could set up to plus six. Like, realistically, what's this Musharna going to do? Charge Beam? It's not a threat. You're right. He can just sit there and let it do whatever. <laughs> Dark Pulse. All right. I maybe should have just gone Chesto, but... All right, let's growth. It obviously gives attack and special attack. I just forgot. All right, perfect. I think that means she's just down. Oh, she lowered my special attack. <laughs> I gotta go again. Oh, wait, wait, I'm, listen, I'm so washed. Oh, he didn't go Chesto. What did he get? What did he run? I don't know. Oh, it went charge beam on him. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Nope, nope. <laughs> he gets off two though, he's fine. <laughs> He's that's golden. so yeah, he's funny. Killing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's Caitlyn. Well, what's funny is he could have been in real trouble. He would have been in real trouble if that, if that Musharna had decided to yawn, but it, it didn't. Yeah, he went for the greed there. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, honestly. Okay. And Cacturn just MVP off rip here. Dude, Cacturn's crazy. insane. Cacturn is... Soloing two fights. I mean, they said it themselves. I mean, you have dark types that just pop off in this Elite Four. Um, it's it's cool that, you know, Cacturn is the, the star of the show. Oh, he's got Vanillux. Secret weapon for the finale. All right, we got Vanillux, too. Um, ooh, actually, that's kind of interesting because now we can fuck around with him a little bit, huh? Okay, what the fuck was the plan... Go to plus four and sweep, I guess. I think this is Grimsley, right? Oh, did Yon forget EXP share on, on, on the ice cream? Possible. I know he was leveling up Yon Mega. It's possible that the ice cream just didn't level up during that. Yeah, I, I, I don't I imagine he didn't forget. The thing with light part is it just doesn't do a lot of fucking damage. Attract is going to really fuck us up, but we're going to have to improvise if some shit happens, I guess. I don't know. I think I have to go plus four. Okay. Oh, we we actually are speed boost. Never mind, it changes. That's cool. I mean, I'll fucking take that. I'll definitely fucking take that. It only matters for the light part, I think, but... Okay, let's try to throw this here. You can do it, Yenma. Unlucky. I kind of got to do it now. I think I get two chances. Come on. Unlucky. Do I click it? Let's see if there's an out. Corsola can maybe take this. It feels so bad to just give up the run here. For like a fucking attract chance. How do I beat the Scrafty if I don't do this though? Machoke kind of does it actually. Unfortunately, I didn't teach any good moves to Corsola, but... Because I think Corsola beats this. I think Sandslash beats Bisharp. And I think um, Machoke beats Scrafty. And maybe Cacturn beats... Uh... Corsola doesn't fucking beat this, does it? Uh, I think it does. Guys, this is going to get real rocky real quick. <laughs> I should have I should have wish gotten given Zatu wish. Okay. Oh, a crit! <laughs> All right, this should bring in a uh, Scrafty. Head smash two shots. I do take recoil though. That's too much recoil. Mm, let's just go here. We have regenerator. Perfect. We pivot again. I mean, Cactor and Machoke both need HP, right? This was also a crit. This shouldn't do that much damage. I'm wearing an Evil Light and everything. Come on. 
This light part is not that attractive. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe that this light part is this attractive. Corsola is dead if this hits. Okay, that was actually good. That was actually good. Um, ugh, okay. Um, Machoke HP is getting a bit low. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, Machoke's matchup versus Scrafty also does not look great. We'll do Machoke once and Cacturn once, I guess. I can't really sack anything. Is Cacturn also male? Yeah, full male team. It's not too bad. Let's try this again, boys. We this really we this is like the last shot. These pivots are getting really hard. So far, I've gotten um, fully attracted four times. Okay, there we go. My God. Is this Crocodile? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. What is it gonna use? Earthquake is guaranteed kill. Dragon Claw. I think it's random move. Just straight random move. Um, it cannot rock to him. Um, I think the only reasonable move is to go hard cacturn and hope that it's not Dragon Claw. Grass Knot is a range. But I guess we kill with Sucker Punch if Grass Knot doesn't kill. We should live all non-crits. Just hit the range. Insane. This is just Heart Sand Slash. Well, let's think about it. It's full random move. The only reasonable pivot is like Corsola to bait what? Night Slash? No, oh, I, th I think it's Hard Sand Slash. This fan light is not evolving. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's the worst possible result, but I have no counterplay. This doesn't kill him. Doesn't have any priority. Jesus fucking Christ, we're really cutting it short, aren't we? Okay, this is Scrafty now, again, full random move. It's not, it's never poison, uh, it's never rock tomb, I think. It could be, actually. I think it's never rock tomb, but it can be poison jab. We really want to see crunch. Can we force crunch? We can never force crunch. Yeah, I'm a choke is too low. I think we just lose, to be honest. We'll see. We gotta hit cross chop. Worst possible move. I live one. Might be a roll. Dude, it's. I yeah I can't I mean like I can't win like that. Um, wing attack just thirty two to this. Crunch just kills me. He sees a kill with Crunch. Do I have like a weird core soul? I know. How much does Sand Slash EQ do? Yeah, I guess it needs to miss Rock Tomb on Yan Mega for me to even win. If I want to beat, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think I can win. Uh, shoot for Earthquake crit here, I guess. 
I got pretty unlucky, huh? Four attracts. The first two really mattered on Yamega, obviously. And then the second two mattered because I had to pivot two more times. Um, meaning Machoke lost way more HP. And then I got worst move on every single random move. And I think I got to crit twice. Quite unfortunate. I need wing attack crit exactly. Close. Oh! That actually happened. We're in. We're, we're not dead. We're actually not dead. But. Ah, okay. Well. I should have swords danced. Fuck me. I misplayed. I misplayed! I should have swords dance. We're actually, we actually still lose. It didn't matter, right? Because he'd be full HP, I'd be plus two. He needs to miss again. Either way. I need, I need the swords dance on the rock tomb turn. Swords dance here? Yeah, that seems correct. Uh, GG. That was fun. Well, technically if I have wing attack there instead of swords dance, maybe sucker punch can kill, right? But, ah, it's okay. It was pretty risky. I wonder if Analyte would have um, actually evolved even. And with Yan down, Flygon remained my only hope to save my Nuzlocke. Could the leader of Sfeel Team 6 conquer Black 2 once more? Just uh, don't crit. Huge. All right, all right. Woo. Okay. Marshall time. Yeah, just some really unfortunate RNG for for what for Jan. Yeah, he got really unlucky with that. That's tough. Dude, if that one brick break doesn't crit right there, he gets a revenge off on the Scrafty. No, Scrafty just sweeping. Flygon getting ready for the champion. GG boys. Jan, you fought hard. I did. That RNG just so brutal. That's okay. I misplayed a little bit too. If it makes you feel any better, Flygon rolled a very similar brick break on Machoke at 70 HP. And his, like, it's literally the difference in your runs is that his held and yours did not. Okay, that's actually very nice to see that there, there's a direct comparison there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was just fighting against um it, Marshall. Marshall, there was a brick break from Sock. He was at 70 HP, down to like 15 HP, and he held, holds. So, Mati going into the Elite Four. Go into the champion's desk. Okay, here we go. See if we can save Wacko's Nuzlocke. All right, so the plan here, do that. Although, eh, well. So now Ice Beam kills. The question is, do I want damage? I guess we have no dragon resist, so there's not really anything to do besides go to Vanillux. Dragon Pulse never crit kills. This thing is deceptively bulky. All right, Hydreigon dead. All right. So Ice Beam is a 68% chance to kill here. So I could fuck it, we ball, or I could switch out to drink, uh, to Wacko, who only dies to a rock slide. Then we have to sack Wacko. Although actually we have the uh, the Charty Berry, right? But I do think we would have to sack him then. Not that he's particularly good into anything else except this word. Okay, okay, okay. All right, go focus miss. Focus miss, 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 focus miss. Darn it. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Or need to do 12 damage. All right, Firo, you you were indelible. What does that word mean? It doesn't matter. Firo was, is indelible. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. All right, Drewsta. Wacko, found dead. Now, am I missing something? It should be Archeops, so help me God. If it's not Archeops, I'm gonna be one upset son of a gun. 
Nice. Okay. Wacko found dead in ditch. Okay, so, um, all right. I see rock slide. Joke. Okay. That is fine. Wanka. Yeah, that's fine. That never crit kills. Um, so I believe... Ooh, this is gonna bring in the Haxorus, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't love that. Probably should have thought this through. I think this Haxorus might sweep me. Yeah, that's bad. Not gonna lie, folks. That's, uh, not good. Like, there's no world where you don't just Dragon Dance here and then proceed to sweep my whole team. But, let's see... Oh, never mind. Okay. I was wrong. Cool. That's fine. You know, you, um, you do you. Please, I, I insist. Kill me. I, I simply insist. Oh. Fucking guy. Freeze. Um, so it could be looking better. Although we do have Sucker Punch on the, the smell of a jig And we also have Icicle Shard on Vanillux, which does 22 to 28%. Just kidding, we're at 61, so it does 27 to 31. The issue is that, um, we're just gonna Ice Punch here. Okay, so you are dead. Tavi, you are dead. Rest in pieces, Tavi. Um, Godspeed to you and your, your friends. But now, um, I think, uh, Cacturn just kills, yeah? Surely we get the kill with Sucker Punch. Surely. Surely Elsephia is a queen. Okay. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Um, losing Machop, not super fun against this Lepra. Okay, 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 okay. I can still blow this. I can still absolutely blow this. Um, hi, Drewsta. It's okay, we just freeze. We freeze Lapras. Sure. Okay. So, um, we can probably save Drewster's life here by just switching on a Surf back into Elsephia. And, but there's no reason to do it because ultimately, like, Elsephia needs to, like, if Elsephia goes down, I'm fucked. The only reason to do it is to save Drewster's life. So my question to you all is, does anyone give a flying fuck about Drewster's life? Editor man, if Drew is editing this video for Wacko, I think we absolutely unabashedly ball. We hard ball here. We absolutely ball. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Drewster, know what I did for you today, except you may die here, but if, if, if Lapras doesn't go for Surf, you may die here. Ah! <laughs> Drew Luke! Yippee! Okay, okay, now we just gotta dodge the crit freeze. Just dodge the crit freeze, and we are G to G. Dodge the crit freeze. Dodge the crit freeze. Let's go, Drew Star! I mean, Elsephia! Woo! We ball, right? We ball! We ball! <laughs> let's go! All right. Um, let's turn on the commentary, yeah? You saved my Nuzlocke. Congrats. I saved your Nuzlocke. Um, that was just about the sloppiest Elite Four I've ever done. No, it it is what it is. You, you had an hour to prepare with garbage Mons and like deliberately tough Elite Four members, so. And a literal garbage Mon. Yeah, you, yeah. you actually brought in the garbage he Mon. He sucked. Yeah, he was bad. Not me forgetting that they changed it to 50% in Gen 5. Yeah. Or like to not cut your defense in half. That was a that was a brutal way to sack him, but it is what it is. You guys this both, was wild. You guys both played really well.
It was yeah, you guys killed it. Really fun to watch. Thank you. So um, thank you guys very much for doing this. Um, we put thirty gift subs on whether or not you were going to succeed, Mati. So uh, <laughs> oh, congrats wow. on the dub. I, I bet in favor of you. I just want to say, but I did okay. also pressure Wacko into betting against you. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to tell him who won, but it's fine. <laughs> It's cool. I appreciate it. But uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for doing this. Uh, maybe uh, another time we'll do another one of these because this was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely do that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you specifically to our Patreon subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys making these videos happen. Chad, Reed, John, Matt, and Tyler. You guys are my goats. If anybody out there is interested in analytical content or just bonus content in general, check out the Patreon and get involved.